Hi, I'm Pastor Norm Berger. So I was looking at a community survey the other day and I discovered that at number five on the list of this community's life concerns was fear of the future and fear of the unknown. Now I guarantee you that if a survey were conducted in that community today that fear of the future and fear of the unknown would rank number one, not number five. With all of the questions and concerns we have about the coronavirus and what its implications may be for our health and the health of people we love and our jobs and our income and the nation's economy. John, an apostle of Jesus Christ, also knew the anxiety that comes from an unknowable future. In a vision that the Lord gives him, John sees the future and it's written out on the scroll, but the scroll is rolled up and it's sealed and nobody can open it and know what the future holds. And the fact that John doesn't know what's coming in the future reduces him to tears. When he begins to dry his eyes, he looks up and he sees a lamb. It looks like a lamb that's been slaughtered, a lamb that's been killed, except that it's alive again. And it's standing next to the throne of God. And when the lamb picks up the scroll, the future, all of heaven erupts in this joyful song with lyrics like this. You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals because you were slain and with your blood you purchased people for God from every language and tribe and nation and people. And you have made them to be a kingdom and priests to serve our God and they will reign on the earth. Okay, let's do a little Bible interpreting. Who is this sacrificial lamb? It's clearly Jesus, the Son of God, whom the Bible calls the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. He offered his life for you and for your sins on the cross. His blood he shed for you there purchased you for God. It made you a dearly loved, forgiven child of God. And that in and of itself is good news to know that the one who holds the future is the Lamb of God, your Savior, who loved you so much he died for you and rose again. But it gets even better. The rest of the book of Revelation from chapter 5 on is the future unfolded, revealed by Jesus. And it's good news. It's not like we won't have problems in this world. We'll still have viruses and violence and pain and pressures and problems. But through it all, the Lamb of God, your Savior, will be with you. You will never face anything alone. And he will always give you the comfort and strength you need to get through anything. And finally, when you die, he will be with you to take you to perfect and perfectly secure life with him in heaven. With faith in Jesus, the clouds of uncertainty and fear part as we look into the future and, and we see hope. Hope that gives us joy even in circumstances like we're going through today. Joy to know that we can see who holds the future and us in his loving hands.